I want that flag to stand for freedom again. You don't talk to me that way. What the fuck, dude? Don't talk to me that way. Oh, hello there, America. How are you today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if there's a way you could tell the system? Ah, what would you do? I'm ready to become Frank Barish. Are you ready to write me in? I like the detail. Do the little aliens there in the face. So, I've been here before. Rose, there on the chin. Yeah. You're gonna. It's against. Oh. It's against the law to feed the bird. Yes. You think so? It must stop controlling stop. Yes. You idiot. Why don't you shave or something? We're. Pants. How much do you get paid? Why How much do you, you guys get paid to do this? Above the chin. But uh off I go in flames. So. Just be. And you turn the other cheek. And you turn the other cheek. And be. To the beat, oh yeah, to the beat, oh, oh yeah, to the beat. And here we go in Iraq. And all those people died for nothing. They died for nothing. I'm coming out here every Tuesday at four until we stop the war. Freedom! <laughs> so yeah, but don't, don't just... Unregulated spices, this is not good, dude. This is bad for everybody. And this is how they're getting out of drug deals, just by being this way. <laughs> You've heard of the Fab Four. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Well, these are the Fabulous Five. The Fabulous Five. I want a woman president. But not Hillary. She's a warmonger beholden to Wall Street. I don't want to talk about it. I want a woman president. Your choices are Hillary Clinton or the Republican Yahoo. Well, I'm gonna ride in Frank Barish. <gasps> Ladies, this country's in trouble. You know it, I know it. Well, that's why we're gonna ride in Frank Barish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning, fine world. Good morning, ladies. Oh, yeah. Woke up next to my ladies. Hey baby, how you doing? We both have cool hair. Oh, you're just too cool for me. You're so black and proud, I like that. Uh, do you have bad posture or are you sad? Sorry, ladies. It's raining. You're gonna have to sleep without me tonight. That's right, baby. I'll be over there. Oh, it wants kind of glamour stuck. shot. It, yeah, it's pretty uh, stuck now. Yeah. No, that's what I wanted to get was just how much blood there is in the air. Oh, okay. So what is it, Frank? What's wrong? I don't know, baby. You're just not the one. Oh, I just don't get it. I gave you everything, Frank. Sorry, baby. I just don't love you that way. <laughs> but Frankie, is it another woman? I'm in love with one of your friends, baby. Oh my God, who is it? Is it Gina, Grace, Cindy? Should I tell her? No. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. You know I love you, right, baby? Oh yeah, Daddy. I can't believe this. Sorry, Blonde. I can't. I can't believe this. Oh. Ladies, don't fight over Frankie B. Huh. I love him. here at the uh, federal building in San Diego. The federal building, the federal government itself. How you doing, gentlemen? Um, 
I'm actually here uh, for a redress of my grievances. I want a redress of my grievances, and uh, why don't you guys just stop bugging me? Stop bugging me! Please! Stop bugging me! Stop bugging me! Thank you! You guys stop bugging me! Please! Now you have a thousand ladybugs in your lobby. What happens now? I don't know. You don't know? Am I not breaking law? I gotta leave? That's it? All ladybugs? You gonna let me go? Well, I was hoping to get arrested, but... Alright. I seek a redress of my grievances. So 6.30 in the morning, I get woken up with someone throwing a fucking rock at my fucking head! There's blood everywhere! Oh my fucking god! I seek a redress of my grievances. I want you to stop bugging me. Well, not you, personally. Sir, what are you here for? I'm here to seek a redress of my grievances. Maybe we can point to where it hurts the most. Okay. We're hit me with the rock. Stay right there. Okay. Why did you dump all those bugs all over Bobby? Because I'm a big fan of metaphor. Is this still on? Yeah. Wait. Okay. I know that the drug companies are a big part of the problem. I mean, they spend, there's an incredible amount of money spent on that. If there was, say, a plant that you could grow in your backyard, <laughs> and, and, say, everything from glaucoma to, to insomnia to, to help cancer patients, would you support that plant? <laughs> I know. Think we should shut down the building? Is that? Why did you do that? Well, now you got bugs in your building. Why have you been? Why has the federal government been torturing me for the last ten years? You don't know about. But now we're going to have a conversation about. Wait. That's not funny. Oh, it is very funny. That's laughing. Political protest, son. Okay. What happens next? Is it still going. Yeah, we're going. You want me to pick it? Please. Okay. <laughs> Setting up my artist studio here. Me and my art, yeah. What the heck? Oh. Uh, why, hello there, Frank. What's up, guy? What's up, man? Um, what are they doing out there, man? You don't want to know. Frank, I dig the new art, man. Thanks, pal. Yeah, man. Heck yeah, man! Hello there. Oh, wait. This thing has many layers. Is that the comet that killed the dinosaurs, or one to kill us? Dude, how'd you know about that? What? I was talking hypothetically, man. Uh, cool. Why? Uh, nothing. You sure? Yeah, man. Just, just drop it, man. Anywho, here's the mirror piece I did. Pretty cool, huh? Right? I mean, right? I mean, right. So, that's good, right? Yep. And this guy's evil, right? You guessed it, pal. Nice. Hold on a minute. What's up? Let there be light. Boom diggity. Haha. Uh -huh. What? How'd you do that? I mean, right? I don't know, man. It's pretty impressive, I gotta... <laughs> How'd you do it, though? I'm an alien. Yes. Yes, you are an alien. Yep. Yep. Anywho... So, um... Yeah. Who's that guy? Uh, it's one of my art pieces. Uh-huh. You're jealous. Dude, you're being silly. Uh, I mean, really. Am I, though? It's part of a larger piece. See all these individual prisoners here? But our guy is getting out of jail. See, it's a political statement against mass incarceration, man. I get it! I don't know why I was jealous, man. Me either, dude. I mean, I told you I'm not gay. It's just French. I know. Anywho, uh, I like the art piece, man. Good stuff. I mean, I told you. I'm curious about the alien thing, but you guys should have sent a lady alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Still working on that one. I like it. 
This one's called Riverside. Nice. And this is Riverside Longview. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Check out how long it is, man. I mean, right? This is an emergency. This is an emergency. What's his name? Is it Mr. Fuck You, like you've been telling me, or what? I, I did. So I wonder what the penalty is for literally burning the ticket. Asshole. 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 Look at this asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you. Why are you so angry? Are you fucking serious? Why are you so angry? Because you're fucking with us! You fucking dipshit! <laughs> are you down, stupid? Man. Are you literally stupid, officer? <laughs> uh, is there something wrong with you? I wrote fuck you instead of my signature and they tried to grab me and were about to arrest me. Yeah, yeah. you have to sign it. Sign. Must sign. I must sign. Yeah, yeah I'm otherwise I'll take you into custody. Okay. Now, if you're saying if you're not going to honor that ticket and you're not going to order your court date, then I will take you into custody right now. If I say that? Yeah. I didn't say that. Okay, okay then. Alright, pack it up. Pack All it up, right. guys. Ow. You're telling me I that you're waking us at 4.30 in the fucking morning because we might leave a mess tomorrow? Are you fucking serious? Relax, man. Relax. You're making us leave? I'm trying to fucking sleep. Don't tell me to relax. I'm not leaving. Oh my god, dude. Now he's actually Did you just say provoking that me. Oh, of course he's provoking you. Do you need an ambulance for your Can you stop provoking me, please? What? What are you talking about? You said you couldn't walk because you're so injured. tired of being harassed. Who's asking you? Do you need an ambulance? We're trying to help you out here. Are you trying to help us out here? Do you need, a, do you need an ambulance? Are it's you? I'm gonna question. ignore your um, ignorance of harassing me. It's just a simple I'm question. I'm just saying, okay? Do you need an ambulance? And I'm you just simply you telling walk. you what I am telling you. Is this still on? I'm not even gonna arrest me. Just put a hundred bugs in my Hey, come on out here. Oh, okay. Can I get my water or no? No. Okay. That's okay. This is, what's your name, sir? Here. Can I let go of this? Yeah. Let me set these bags right. down. I have no weapons. All right. There's like a, a, a small, Let's dull knife. Bugs, you have bugs, sir. I do have bugs all over. Because I was protesting the, uh, the whole... See the bugs? Okay. Okay. What's your, what's your business today? Uh, doing a political protest. Okay, well, you can't go inside the federal, you can protest all you want out here, uh -huh. but you can't go inside the federal building like that, sir. Yeah. Okay? You can't uh, do that. No. Just can't you I believe in you, Frankie B. But, Lord, I'm a homeless bum. How can you? I believe in you, Frankie B. But, Lord, I'm a homeless Hey, now, crazy humans, I am the Lord thy God. I gave you humans free will. That doesn't mean be an idiot. Hey, Frankie, you don't think this one's too realistic, do you? I think people are gonna notice that one, buddy. I'm pretty sad. Oh, Lord, what's wrong? Keith Richards just won't die. I want him up here. What are you doing now, son? Metaphorically speaking, yes. Shouldn't you know? Why are you bothering me? Ha ha, Frankie. What do you think of me now, buddy? I'll admit that's impressive. The corporate candidates, they aren't looking out for you humans. Right in, Frank Barish. What if everything you know is a lie? Forget the corporate candidates. Right in, Frank Barish. So be good down there, Frankie. I'm counting on you, man. I will, Lord. Thank you. It's a clear blue sky. I don't see him. God, you're up there. Um, hello? Apparently God's elsewhere. Hmm, still nothing. Perhaps God is a metaphor to assuage my need to personify the Almighty. God is a metaphor to assuage my need to personify the Almighty. God is a metaphor to assuage my need to personify the Almighty. You know what, Frank? What, Lord? You should run for president. Hmm. Oh, I got plenty of citations. Can I, I'm slowly taking these out. These are the uh, government being tortured. You have ID on you. I do have ID on me. I gotta reach for it in the backpack. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm covered in butt. I'll tell you what, how about, can I go in the backpack? Sure. All right. Okay, unzip that so part there. The front. Top one. Right. While he's doing that, let me see your ID. Uh, well, that's what he's getting. It's that wallet right there. I got your wallet. You have any weapons in here? I don't. There's you have a small any, scissors. Any weapons on you? No. There's a small scissors and a butter knife. 
Park, sweetheart, I can do whatever I want. Don't call me sweetheart. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, it's just a coincidence that they're holding their meeting right here and that I'm surrounded by police cars. So anyone who watches my YouTube channel knows that I've gone through a ridiculous amount of police harassment. So if you can explain to me why I'm being attacked by your officer today for being homeless at a court where I'm trying to deal with my homeless tickets, I would appreciate that. It's a little weird for you to just come at me like this. No, no, no. What I'm telling you is you can't keep that out there. I've we kept it out there every time I've come Sir, to court. I'm not here to I'm not here to fight with you. I'm just telling you you can't leave that out here. Okay. Would you like me to bring it in? No, no. Can I talk to your supervisor, please? No. Well you here's the please. issue. Can I talk to your okay. supervisor? No. What's that? I cannot be out here doing what? Handling. I'm not breaking your municipal code. I've read your code and it doesn't preclude so? me from standing on the on a public corner like that. You think so? I know so. Oh, do you have ID on you? I do. Can I see it? So who makes the decision where some days they, they wave to me as they go by and some days it's harassment? 
Who makes that call? Is that made on? Well, you think uh, that I'm harassing you by enforcing the law? Well, you're not enforcing law because I've read your municipal code and well, it's very it clear. Say? If you've read it, what does it say? Well, I don't have it memorized, but it's pretty clear that it's not breaking any part of the code by standing here on the public okay. sidewalk. Well, I'll have to read it myself. Okay? Yes, I think so you should. I'm not harassing you. I just get calls from, from businesses saying that there's people outside harassing their customers. You get calls just in general? Yes. All so time. you, but you haven't gotten a call from me specifically tonight? I'm not saying whether I did or didn't. Take that as a no. I'm not saying whether I did or didn't. You talking to me? What's going on? Hey, bud. Huh? Hey, you can't be standing out here with your signs and whatnot. What do you mean? Can't be out here panhandling. Says who? Solicitation. Lancaster City Municipal Code. Uh, it's actually a misdemeanor. I've actually read the municipal code, and where I'm standing is not in violation of that code. Are you sure about that? Positive. Really? Yes. How do you figure? because I read the code and there's nothing in there against standing on a public sidewalk corner, which is why yeah, yeah. every other officer that comes by here every day just waves to me as they go by. Okay, well, I'm telling you to stop. And why is that? Okay, come on over here, but I'll show you. I'll show you, I'm not gonna- Please, you I'd like you to show. Absolutely. Should I be waving these people off? They're gonna be a while. Guys, go on. Are you Googling me? What? What's up? Excuse me? You can't stand out here I can't stand out here and beg? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. okay. You, I mean, if you, you just can't put the sign out here, okay? Okay. Yeah. How's it going? Hey, time to go find somewhere else to hang out. Really? For well, I, I discussed this with the supervisors down at, at the headquarters. This this location does not break your municipal code. The sign, I, everything's been... Uh, you're, you're within the city limits, right? Yes. All right, the city has a municipal code against panhandling. Yeah, I, I, I read it, but this, okay. but it's not... As long as I'm here on the sidewalk, it's not actually breaking your municipal code. How is that? Read you your code. Inside the city limits. No, the sin, it doesn't say within the city limits. The code very specifically delineates all, where I can't do it, all, and this is not... All municipal codes are within the city limits. I know, but it doesn't... Right. It gives the specific places where you can't panhandle, and this is not one of them. It does not... It's, it says all the places you cannot panhandle. Hey, dude, here's the thing. Yeah. I'm just telling you to move along, all right? Okay. So... And if I don't, you're going to come harass me some more? I'm not harassing you, all right? Okay. But I'm... going to enforce the law, all right? But I... So when I come back after handling this call, okay. I don't expect to see you here. And if I am, what happens? Then we'll uh, we'll take it further, all right? And what will that be? That'll be a possible citation, all right? Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'm curious. Do the cops always smile and wave at you when you're sitting here? They know me. Yeah, they know you. Oh, they know me. Yeah. So they never they never harass you when you're do, doing hey, this. I'm a man. I help the citizens out here. Okay. Yeah. You go, darling. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So you've never had the cops harass you while you've been sitting here? No, never. No. You how long you been here? I've been here a while. Cops have never given you problems for sitting right me, here. The manager let me sit here, they give me shoulders and stuff out of there. And the cops have never harassed you once. I don't get it. They know me. Wow. What's I, your name? I, I'm Bill. They know me. Wow, I bet they do, because you're a cop. Everybody know? Yeah, I'm, you are. I'm a cop. Of course you are. Why else would they just let you sit here and aggressively panhandle right outside a door? The same reason why you come to ask me what I'm doing. Why you ask me what I'm doing? Because I'm going to go to jail for doing something that's not illegal while you're sitting here with cooperation from the cops for doing something that is illegal. That's why I'm asking. Why does it bother you? Why does it bother yeah. me? That you show up every time I'm sitting out here and you sit right here and, and intercept everyone that walks by? Why would that bother me? Really? Yeah, you sure don't. Well, let's move along. I'd love to move along, sir. I never wanted to have any of this in the first place, but for some reason it all happened. Okay. You have a nice day now. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Never a dull moment. Oops.
you know what to do back that flat? And then you can move forward. Thank you. I have six tickets, and tomorrow I'm going to federal court to deal with the federal one. But that one was my fault. I went into the uh, federal building with a thousand ladybugs, and I released them in the lobby as an anti-war protest. I thought they'd arrest me, but they, uh, I got I to gotta go to court tomorrow for that federal court. <laughs> Did you want to be arrested? Yeah, I really thought that's what... Why? To, to get on the news and get my... get. It, it was an anti-war protest every Tuesday at 4 until we stopped the war. That's why I have so many tickets, because I'm uh, an activist. But I don't hate the police. I don't want to hurt the police. It makes no sense to be violent against the police because all you do, you either go to jail or you die. What's the point of that? The best thing you could possibly do, humiliate the police on YouTube. So this is a compilation of some of the police I've humiliated. But first, we're going to start with the one, one cop who's been nice. And then we'll go into all the others. Well, thank you for proving my daughter's point. Is that, yeah, she said that the, the female cops are always much nicer, and <laughs> I've, I've been taping asshole cops for the past week, and you're the first person who was nice, and you're also the first female we've dealt with, so thank you. I'm going to show her this video and tell her she was right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we can't all, like, police the same way. It's yeah. all discretion. It's yeah. all, you know... Why are you so angry? Are you you came into my where we were and oh, stood right is, next is to us. Is your area? Is that what you're saying? Is it yours? No, that's where I'm standing here. No, just just coincidentally, you came over and started antagonizing us then. How did I antagonize you? Really? How did I antagonize you? Really? See, I walk here. I walk here a lot. So uh -huh. People say, hey, there's some people. I'm not so sure. I've never seen it before. So I stood here making sure everything's... Someone said that to you about us? All the time. Not only you, about it. Well, I mean, about us specifically. Because we just got here and then you walked up and stood next to us. Saw a group. Who said that? You were over there. I think you're borderline encroaching. You have stuff all over the place and people are wondering if you're okay. I said, Are you okay? Did I not ask you that? Uh, you are just one. Did I not ask you that, sir? Fucked up asshole, aren't you? So you're just making things up, are you? <laughs> so write me the ticket, son. Well, or go or leave me the fuck alone. Those are your choices. By the way, I'm not your son, sir. By the way, I'm not your son, sir. So either write me the ticket or leave me the fuck alone. Aren't you the guy who to... harassed me last time with the camera? I'm glad you brought the camera out. Sir. You asked me to bring the camera out, well, asshole. Because you're starting using profanity for whatever reason. I want to document this. You don't have your camera going? Well, I don't have a camera yet, sir. You don't have a camera yet? Aren't you a sergeant? I asked you nicely. Why do you have to cuss and be all rude for, man? I asked you nicely. Everything okay? And then you started cussing for no, no reason. No, you didn't. You told me that this was borderline encroachment. And well, you you are, because you got your stuff all over the place. It's not cool. It's the beach, asshole. Do you not know you're at the beach? Are you that stupid? So we done? <laughs> yeah. That's my problem. Can you throw the bottle non military No, I'm going to pack up and leave. Well, can you throw it away? No, I'm keeping the bottle because it's my bottle of water. Well, if it's going to stay here, you're going to Well, I just it. said I'm packing up and leaving, so it's obviously you leaving with me. I'm putting it in my backpack you, right now. Thank you. I clearly answered the question of whether or not you're retarded. Well, if you're talking in a non-hostile manner, why don't you shut the you. fuck up? How about that? Bye-bye now. Well, sir, it's a Bye -bye free country. now. I can speak. Yeah, you sure can. Thank you for pointing out that it's a free country. Pick a, a nice, not so intrusive bug. Right? Yes, you it's a, it's a beneficial roaches. insect. Thank insect, God you didn't have roaches. <laughs> no, no roaches. Okay, so a beneficial bug. insect. Now listen, this, real quick, is this address valid? I'm homeless, so, so I don't. You have no home right so now. I have so no home. So there is no address that's good, but okay. that's. Which one's on that one? The, this is the Lancaster one. Forty-five, one thirty-four Sierra Highway. Yeah, that's the, that's a church in Lancaster that I can receive mail at. So, so listen. Mail. Uh, I do receive mail there, yes. You're not protesting there. Well, I, I, I did actually, I'm done. That's, okay. You could go in there to use IRS, whatever. You guys would let me back in the building after all this? Uh, no. I'm just saying, you cannot protest in there, okay? You can exercise oh, sorry. the personal sorry, can, right I, I'm, can I push the YouTube? Poor YouTube no, people you have been getting... Your phone's alone okay. right now. We're live. I'm just saying, okay, well, that's great. 
Hey, since you're recording, answer me this. Uh, why do you have to bother people and use profanity and flip people off I mean, randomly? I mean, you do that to me and other... I mean, I'm being dead serious. Why do you do that? I've had three, now four interactions with you. At each point, you have come up to me and intentionally tried to provoke me. How did I provoke you? Well, I have... You were just watching video of you provoking me, well, so I it's not here. hard. I mean, the thing is, you're... you're, you're you, I, how do I provoke you? I work here. Let's see, there's much more shade under that tree, but he claims that this tree is the only place they can have their meeting, even though... Wow! The guy he's been fucking with just happens to be right here! That's just it, a coincidence this, though, is, right? Is, is this your tree? Is it a coincidence is that you're your fucking tree? with me is this today? Your part? Is it yours? Let me ask you okay, this. Well, I can stand behind you again, right? You can stand behind me. I can me. stand right you fucking him, behind yeah, you. Yeah, he can stand me. It's, it's free park, right? Yeah, you can stand here as long as you don't come within uh, two arms length. So two right. arms length, huh? Because my legs are pretty capable. Mm, I'm sure they are, with that dojo of yours. But you said I got kicked out of that dojo. Aww. Uh -huh. Did you say that? For being an asshole? Pretty much. Uh -huh. So, I understand what you're saying. So, when people walk by you when they're children, and then they see you, and you kind of give them that dirty look and flip them off, and they walk away, do they have a right to be where they want to go? Let me ask you that question. Yes well, no? none of that ever happened. It's never happened. No. Not once. No. Okay, I believe you. Like, it's never happened where you flip people off and use profanity. I'd show you a picture. That, that never happened. You have a picture of me using profanity, do you? Well, I just had a picture of you flipping an officer off yesterday. Did I not? That was yesterday now. Yes. You keep changing when that picture yesterday, was. Today, I mean, you do it so often, I, I have no idea. I run into you because you seem to be lingering around everywhere. Really? People want to enjoy the area. So I'm not allowed to be here? No, you can be here all you want. Am I lingering where people are trying to enjoy it, or am I allowed to be here? Which well, is you know it? what? People are intimidated by you when they're with their families. And really? Walking around. Yes. Really? They're intimidated by me sleeping here no, under this fucking by you tree. Smoking and making you know obnoxious up for family. Well, did I get a ticket for smoking? You got a ticket for having a glass bottle. Oh, well then I guess you don't have me smoking, do you? Well, you were, but I did not have an officer to give you a ticket because they were busy yesterday. Really? But the one was available for a, a bottle citation. So a bottle citation, but not a smoking citation. No, sir. Aww. You are just one sick son of a bitch, aren't you? Well, keep recording, sir, and enjoy. See, I have no issues with you, but people... Really? Really? You have no issues with me? You want to say that again? Yeah, I have no issues with you, sir. Then why do you keep fucking with me? If you don't smoke in public, in the uh, grass area, like I asked you before, if you don't have... He has no he has no issues with me, but I'm here, and this is where they're going to hold their meeting right now. It's a public park. But you're not fucking with me. Well, you can do whatever you want. Oh. I'm leaving you alone. You're the one cussing. You're leaving me alone. That's what ha what's happening here? Well, you do whatever you want to do. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. I hope I don't have to meet you under these circumstances again. I'm sure no one likes to under, be written down by cops. Under the circumstances of peacefully eating breakfast and having three police well, cars show up? I don't think they called and said you were looking in windows and lied about it. Really? You think I was looking in windows? I don't think that. That's what they told me. I said I don't think they lied. Do you think I was looking in windows? I don't know. I don't know you. Okay. Were you? No. Okay. Why then they lied. That? That, that? That's a fine question. I agree with you. Yeah. Mr. Please rise, sir. What's his name? Is it Mr. Fuck You, like you've been telling me? Or what? I, I did he, hear him spell it oh. F-U-C-K something or other, but it's actually uh, Aronson. Mr. Aronson, you're going to help me stand you up, man. You're going to put your leg underneath. Uh, watch out. I'm going to move your phone so it doesn't break. Yeah, we wouldn't want that now, would we? Uh, can you stand up, sir? All right, face away. Because you got nothing better to do on a full moon. Provoking and harass me. Of course it is. But you cannot go into a federal building with bugs all over you, sir. And yet okay. I just did. But you cannot go into a federal building with bugs all over you, sir. And yet okay. I just did. Well, yes, and now you're out here. Okay. As you should be. All okay. right. So I guess that was it, huh? Really thought that's this. not it. Okay, what happens now? I just hold tight. Ah. Okay. Matter of fact, sit back over there. Sure. No, over there, away from the stuff. Frank Barish, I want to be your president. America, yeah. Man, this country's in trouble, man. I know, brother. I hope humans, I hope they write in Frank Barish. Hey, Lord, you summoned me? I'm the Lord thy God. Listen to the aliens, Frankie. Save humanity. What about now? The aliens said to save humanity. I'm gonna do it. Go humans!
Why would you vote for Hillary? Her husband sold out the middle class for corporate money. This bee is dying. Why? Hillary Clinton's not gonna stand up to the companies that are killing our bees. I will. You know what's cool about Frank? You can write him in on both sides. Republican? Democrat? Don't like your choices? Write in Frank Barish. There's evil in the world, Frank. I know, Lord. What are you gonna do about it, Frankie? I'm running for president, Lord. I believe in you, Frankie. Thanks, Lord. I appreciate that. Okay, I think he's asleep. Time to call home. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, buddy, how are you? So how are things back home? Good, buddy, we're chilling. How's your Earth, man? Earth is, well, you know, it's Earth, man. So how's the campaign going, buddy? It ain't easy, I tell ya. Frank's having a tough time because he doesn't have money. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. Humans still use money, huh? I know, man. They're savages, I tell you. Money. I know money. Watch me get this freak elected president. I mean, right? Well, good luck, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Peace, brother. All right, over and out. <laughs> I'm peeved at the government. I know, Fonzie. I'm, I'm down with it, too. We gotta get Frank elected. You bears really think it could happen, man? I do. Me too, brother. Hi, Pa. Heck yes. I don't trust politicians anymore. Preach to the choir, brother. Like they're all corrupt. Except Frank. Barish. Frank's not a politician, though. True. He's an artist, for God's sakes. I know, that'd be cool for president, man. Shadow here, folks. If we don't stand up for this country, who the heck is gonna? Power to the people. Shadow here, folks. Fighting for America. You need to write in Frank Barish. <laughs> There's evil in the world, Frank. I know, Lord. What are you gonna do about it, Frankie? I'm running for president, Lord. What's your name? Seth Arrington. Seth Arrington. I'm also playing each other real quick. I'm also running for president under my great grandfather's name. No arrest, they just wrote me a ticket and uh, say, say goodbye to the DHS officers. Gentlemen, thank you for, I guess, not arresting me. And I still don't get a redress of my grievances, oh well. Dude, that's a DARPA. That's a drone. Oh yeah, you can see it's a drone. I'm sorry, man. That's a drone. That's not a bug. That's a drone. If it was a bug, he would have flown away, and he wouldn't have, I don't know, metallic features. What the actual hell, man? Can we all agree that this thing that won't get off my sleeping bag, which has physical heavy weight, I can feel the weight of it? You're gonna tell me that's not a fucking drone? He won't, he just, he won't get off my sleeping bag, first of all. Why wouldn't he not flow, fly away? What the fuck, dude? Holy shit. Now what do I fucking do? That's not a fucking drone. Dude, that's a DARPA thing right there. I'm gonna have to fight that. Oh my fucking god, it's on my thingy. It just flew in, dude. He insists on being on my sleeping bag. Clinging to it. Why would he not fly away to- A bug would fly away in self-defense. He's like, oh, I, I see you're attacking me, but I'm gonna clamp onto your sleeping bag really, really hard. Instead of flying away like a normal bug would. Cause I'm a DARPA drone. Do you see it? I can't even see the screen very well. So if I'm getting it blurry, I'm sorry. But he's attached himself onto my, holy shit. <laughs> That is a DARPA fucking drone, and I'm gonna get my hand that close to it. And now he's literally hiding himself in the leaves. So instead of trying to get away like a normal creature does, 
this guy methodically just walks like a fucking robot over into that pile of leaves. Is that how insects usually... Is that how insects usually look to you? Does that look like an insect to you? Or does that look like a drone? This thing that flew in and latched onto my sleeping bag. This morning, six hours before my ladybug protest at the federal building. That is a DARPA drone. That is not a bug of any kind, dude. It's got metallic legs and it won't fly away. Can I see its wings? It's a robot. It's a fucking robot, man. So, I captured him. You guys missed the big protest at the federal building. No, there was, there was two, over a thousand of us there. Oh, it's over now, but you missed it. Uh, she doesn't care. Well, there were a thousand, I mean, 999 ladybugs and me. Stop bugging me, oh yeah. How am I harassing you? You're harassing me now with that camera following me around when I make my phone calls. Your phone calls about me, but not about all the other people who are camping. How do you know it's about you? Am I retarded? I or did I hear you. what you just said? How about you? Maybe I didn't make any phone call. Maybe I was just Oh, were you just faking a phone call because you're a lying piece of shit? Maybe that's it. I asked you yesterday, just be cool to people. You just can't seem to do that, man. You just seem to be very vulgar. And I don't know what your problem with the police. I problem isn't with the police anymore, asshole. It's with you. Well, that kind of language is not really a... a Fuck a nice you. you. You know what? I've actually... People flagged me down. That guy right You're there... You're lying about flagging down is just really getting old. Every time I've seen you, you've made up a lie about people flagging why you down I, as an lie? excuse to fuck with me. Why would I lie? Sick piece of shit. Why would I lie about this? Because you're a sick piece of shit! I walk here all the time, people complain about your type of behavior. I mean, you're cool, I like talking to you, you're not a bad guy. Why don't you just leave the people alone? This is now the second day in a row you have come upon me sleeping by myself, not bothering anybody, but Wait, you keep telling out, me to leave out. the people alone. Time out, time out, please. And then it was my nemesis, the infamous Sergeant Yu. You know what, quit harassing my officer. How you doing, sir? Happen, you need to lay off everybody, alright? I just said hello. I just said hello, sir. Calm down. Four homeless so people. Anymore, Do you ever stop talking? People, right? You've been harassing me for a month. Four homeless people were killed and you didn't give a shit. And now you want me to cry about your one officer? Stop harassing people. And maybe you won't have all these problems. All you've done is torture me for the last month. Sergeant, you. Uh, and now you're just an you asshole cop. Call? What are they called? Now he's just an asshole cop. What a shame. I, I mean, obviously, you, you're very successful in the film industry. So I'm here at Bill Gates' grocery store, campaigning for the presidency. Let's see how this goes, huh? I'm running for president, folks. Write me in on election day. Thank you. What in the world are you doing? What in the world are you doing? Uh, running for president? Yeah. Turn that off. No. Okay, then you need to leave from here. Okay. What, is, okay. what law am I breaking? You're, you're, well, they asked you to leave already. Security no, he didn't. The security specifically said I can stand right here. Um, well, he asked you to leave from the uh, parking structure. And he specifically said I can stand well, in front of the grocery I store. You want to watch the tape I, of him I, saying I that? I talked to him, and he said he didn't want you over here. He specifically okay. said I can okay. stand okay. in front of the grocery store. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm running for the presidency. Of what? The United States of America. Yeah, you're not. I, actually, I am. See where it says Frank for president? Where's your ID? Come on, take one of those? No, I don't. Okay. Lord have mercy. Oh, let's go. Let's oh, oh I, you're in a hurry. I, 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 well, you didn't have. Okay. I got other stuff to do. Do you really? There you go. Lord have mercy. So I have the, the security guard on tape saying I can stand in front of the grocery store specifically. And now you're telling me I can't? Good for you. Well, don't you think it's weird that he would call you after telling me it's okay to stand right here? No, I don't. 
Is he normally lie to you? Okay, can you stop and let me do what I need to do? If you want to be done, then let me do what I need to do, okay? So stop talking until I ask you a question. That's not how it works, but okay. That, that is how it works. No, it really isn't. Please arrest me for talking. I'm not arresting you for talking. I, did I say you were under arrest? No, I'm just proving okay, that so I can so keep talking. Don't sit there and say to your little recording I'm that I'm proving a point you. that I'm allowed to keep talking okay. and you can't tell me to stop. If you want to get out of here and you want to be done with me, then you will stop talking to me and let me write what I need to write. I was talking to my okay. camera and then you had this whole thing. So I'm not breaking any laws. So what is he doing here exactly? Any scars, marks, or tattoos? Do what? You want to search me? Do you have any scars, marks, or tattoos? I do. Where are they? What are they? Don't think I have to tell you that. Just asking a question. Are you now? No, I don't want to search you. Good for you. I really don't. Good. This guy, huh? How about this fella? How you doing? Officer Williams? <sighs> Lord have mercy. You're right, Lord have mercy. Yeah? Is this the city of San Diego? What do you think? Well, you said, said San well, Diego what police. Do you think? Well, I do, which means okay, then. There you go. Which means you the law your own question, Which means the law has a provision that I'm allowed you answered your own question. Well, if so you'd stop talking, question. then you'd understand that the law had a provision that allows a, It was a rhetorical question no, This guy never shuts up. This guy. Do you have an address? I'm homeless. Is that going to be a problem? Did I say it was a problem? Oh, Lord. Like, I don't have enough strikes against me trying to be president without all this crap. I mean, right? Because I love that flag right there. My American flag, I love you so. I just want my constitution back, oh yeah. <laughs> I am for my forever. Hello there, folks. Don't forget to write in Frank Barish, oh yeah! Hey guys, watch this. Do. Da do. Boom! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's the mouth. What? Why, hello there. I can't see you very well. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> what? No, Frankie. You can't quit. Dude, I'm homeless. I can't run for president, man. I can't. Buck up, Frank Barish. America needs you, man. Yeah, I know. I'd like to be president. That's right. Sing it with me, Shadow. Boom, boom, chick -a boom Taylor Swift cannot have this sick beat. Oh yeah. I wish I was one of those guys that called everyone fool. Yo, 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 yo what up, fool? What up, G? Um. <laughs> good glasses. You guys are good. Thank you. Frankie, help me clear up this rumor that we're the same person. You're right. I mean, I wish. What? Nothing. <laughs> what you think it was? You guys are like the best friends I ever had, man. I love you, man. Yeah, man, you're like a cool dude, buddy. <laughs> you need to listen to me, America. Right in Frank Parish, yeah. Yeah, the first female president would be great, but, um, not Hillary. How about the first homeless artist? And we're back with presidential candidate Frankie B. Frank's sharing his positions on issues that matter. Issues that are important to Americans like you and me. The economy. It's time to put the banksters in jail. They stole trillions of dollars. That's the first step. This has been the economic policy of this country for far too long. Write me in and I'll fix it. Education. We need to stop all the testing and let teachers be teachers and pay them what they deserve. Taxes. Like Warren Buffett says, he's one of the richest men in the world and he pays a lower tax rate than his secretary to reverse that. What about guns? The Second Amendment is untouchable, but it says well regulated. So we're gonna regulate. This is a tough one, Frankie. <sighs> abortion. Making abortion illegal doesn't stop abortions. Honest sex education, access to contraception, alleviating poverty, that's how you reduce abortion rates. That whoa, 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 hold the phone there, Frankie B. Are you telling me you're both pro-choice and pro-life somehow? Exactly. I recognize that you can't make abortion go away by making it illegal any more than you can make drugs go away by making them illegal. If you want to stop abortion, there's ways to do it. And you can do it without taking women's rights away. Because I will not, under any circumstances, take away a woman's right over her own body. 
but I want there to be no abortions. So we're going to work towards that without making it illegal. So I'm pro-choice and I'm pro-life. Dude, that is revolutionary, my friend. You all got to vote for Frank, right? Okay. A Taylor Swift cannot have. No, no, no. This sick beat. I met David Bowie today. What? No way. <gasps> oh my god, Mr. Bowie. Hey, Mr. Bowie. I'm a huge fan. I love your music. I met David Bowie today. What? No way. <gasps> oh my god, Mr. Bowie. Hey, Mr. Bowie. I'm a huge fan. I love your music. Um, seriously, folks. <laughs> right in Frank Barish, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the mouth, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Billions of galaxies, billions of galaxies, billions of galaxies, billions of galaxies, under. Dude, it goes over. No, under. Over. Under, so it's out of the way. Over, so it's right there. I love you so much, America. Kiss me. <laughs> honey, I don't know about that mouth, guy. It's a bit of a loud mouth, you know? I know, honey, but he's a cool dude. Oh, here he comes. Hello there. It's so weird seeing random stains on pavement. I know, right? Howdy, fellas! <laughs> Say what? It's a big responsibility, you know? I get it, Frankie. I understand, man. Do you, though? I mean, you're just a mouth. <gasps> hey, Frankie. What? Slap fight! Oh. oh, you got me. Hi, you missed! Oh! Come and she said I'll give you a shelter from the storm, yeah. So, how you doing there, mouth? You uh, thinking about me? <laughs> you know it, baby. Oh, yeah. So you're gonna kiss me or what, you big mouth? Oh yeah, baby. Oh. Oh. Hey, yo, Frankie. What's up, dude? Great fight. No, I'm not playing anymore. <coughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. <coughs> what? Mmm. There's only two kind of people in the world, Frankie. People who drink your vermate and people who don't. Exactly. You know what I am? I'm hungry. I smell chicken. El pollo loco. Mmm. In and out, mm, in and out. Mm. It's what a hamburger is all about. Mm. 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 Good. Mm. Yay. Why on earth would anyone eat there when there's a Del Taco just down the street? Delicious. They have taco night. Look how cheap that is. Every hour. Eat it. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I do say, my dear child. Mm, this is delicious. It's raw honey, you know. Pinkies up. Mm, this is quite civilized. Honey bunches. You know what gets my goat? Raw goat cheese. <laughs> it's pretty good. I don't know, they're okay. This hummus, I don't like it very much. Olive, eh? Uh, I don't think I saw any olives. You gotta leave the pieces, man. Come on. These guys are awesome. They preserve the earth for future generations. And it's really good dish soap. I love this stuff. Okay, I'll admit it. Arkansas has pretty good water. Not bad. A pleasant pickle surprise. Thanks, Barons. Oh yeah, bread and butter or wild west dills or koshers. Maybe I'm gonna go bread and butter. Mm -hmm. Now that's an organic bounty in the back. Yes, please. I like their bakery because oh, this stuff is delicious. Mm -hmm. Nancy's, 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 Nancy's kefir for a dollar cheaper compared to the co-op. I'm sorry, how many soups to choose from? And my favorite. There it is. Ooh. When the olive bar gives way to the salad bar. Oh, obviously they're known for their wines, but check this out. What? Really? Hmm, there it is. But will they have a raw organic honey? Cool, but it's not local. From India. Here we go. <laughs> it's good and, it's good and, it's very, very good for you. Baron's Market, not bad, Baron's not bad.
putting on some coconut oil. coconut oil good for the skin and the beard and the hair mmm Oops, I ate it all. I like talking about corporations I like. I'm not a sellout. Del Taco, that was delicious. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like limes. I'm just gonna eat it raw. Ooh. Hey, McDonald's, thanks for the free coffee. Yeah. Why would you give that away? To entice people. It's gross. I'm not loving it. McDonald's, it's lame. Gross. Del Taco's green sauce is so good. You can just drink it. Okay, the little. Well, we're poor. We're all gonna have to share this year with Monte. Frankie B. Mmm. Monte. Mmm. Dark Frank. I don't have a mouth. Oh, yes. You're a fishy fishy. Ooh, bears like fish. Mm. Oh, yeah. Straight from the paw. I'm gonna get you fish. <laughs> wow, yeah, this sushi smells great, but I still don't have a mouth. Um, buddy. I don't have a nose either. Acting! Whoa! Candy shoes! You can't have candy shoes because you're drunk. You're drunk. On the next real homeless, or Beverly Hills. So being introspective, it's an interesting thing to try. Look within yourself. What do you mean, Dark Frank? Well, you know this whole being introspective thing. It's glorious, you know. Whereas before, you only thought about myself. Now you, I care about other people now. Okay, Dark Frank, ready for this one? Um, yeah, man. Now look inside yourself. Being introspective. Well, man, that's deep. Hey there, cutie. Oh, hello there. Are you being introspective as well? Yeah, baby, everyone's doing it. I could dig this whole introspective thing. Whoa, is that like you or me or who's that in the mirror? Ha ha ha! Oh, ha ha ha, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. <laughs> hey guys, what's funny? You had to be- So that's why I decided to be introspective. Oh, yummy. Well, that's a great idea. I know, right? Another carrot? Hey, buddy, what's up, man? I don't know, man, I think the- Mystics of history might have been on to something. Can I still dance like a monkey? Dance like a monkey. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Sure, man, I dig it. Cool! <laughs> <gasps> well, now, do you see what time it is? 420. Why, thank you. <gasps> well, now, do you see what time it is? 420. Why, thank you. So we can test out my theory here that the amount of uh, ammo that a police carries is indicative of just how paranoid they are. This guy's got three extra clips. So he's not quite as paranoid as that guy with four, but he's more paranoid than the one who had two. So that's all I know about this guy, about Officer Williams. So America, do you love me as much as I love you? I get it, get it, I, cause you're looking in my eye, man. You know, man, like that, yeah. <laughs> I'm Frank Barris and I want to be your president. But only if you write me in, oh yeah. I'm here at the Federal Building, oh yeah. I'm here at the Federal Building and it's about 4 o'clock. I feel weird yelling at the building by myself. There's a family who's sitting over there and it's kind of freaky. So I'm going to come over to this side here and chastise the building a little bit to see if other people show up. I demand a redress of my grievances! That's right, I told that building. But seriously though, I'd like a redress of my grievances. Because the federal building is just a symbol. It's the federal government that's out of control. Am I right? Am I right? You know I'm right. You all know I'm right. You know what I think we should do with the federal building? I'm gonna crush it! No, <laughs> just kidding. I don't want to crush the government, I just want it to, I don't know, follow the Constitution of the United States? Is that too much to ask? I am an American citizen and I believe in the Constitution of the United States. But this government, the federal government, our government, is out of control. The FBI has spent millions of dollars, millions of dollars over the last 10 years trying to make me a terrorist. But I'm not going to become one because I'm a peace activist. I don't want to make more war. I want to stop the war. Stop the war. But stop the war. Why not? Enough war. Just enough already. How are you? Good, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you in person. Um, I'm here because basically I have nowhere to go. Sure. Um, and I know you filed the initial paperwork, but I also know that could take months. Um, when I talked to Austin in the Washington DC office, he was, of all the Congress people I called, he was the staffer smart enough to say, hold on a second, and he turned on a recorder. 
mm -hmm. to try to get part of my story. What I need to do is to give a full, if you guys have a video camera or somewhere to record it, I need to give my full story now. I mean, we don't have any cameras here, but I mean, I, I do have all the information that you included mm -hmm. on your blog and stuff like that. Yeah. So. I just, I don't know where to go. I have no money. I have no way to work. I got nowhere to go. I got nothing to do. And the FBI, right now, there's an agent trying to get my daughter pregnant again. And I mean, this, what can we do? I'm going to sleep here in the courtyard until you guys help me. Well, I mean, we're doing everything we can. All, all we can do is get an answer from the FBI. We can't change the outcome of the situation. We can't. Well, I, I don't expect the FBI to cooperate with you. My point is, is that there's only two options here. Either I'm crazy, and this is all in my head, or this is really happening. And if this is really happening, and if federal agents raped a disabled, a mentally disabled girl solely to try to get her father to commit an act of terrorism, try to realize the gravity of that. Sure. No, I understand, sir. And like I said, all we could do is get an answer from the FBI. So I'm going to send this, your, your paperwork and the information you put no, at our office. just the FBI? Because I put on, I, I mean... You put the, DHS, I believe, as well, too. DEA. The DEA. Okay. Because I'm, I, I'm sure the DEA is involved in this. I dealt with, I mean, I, the amount of stuff I dealt with when I was a, a medical cannabis activist, which is what started all this, the DEA is definitely involved in this as well because they were intimately involved in all that went down in San Diego. Still in the game, so you know, What's that? Still in the game. Uh, we got several prices. Pick one. In the game? I mean, uh, I'm homeless. Medi medicated. Uh, medicated. I'm homeless because the uh, feds have fired me for my last five jobs. The feds? Well, I don't know. Are you DEA or what? <laughs> no, I don't know anything about it. I was just... Small talk there, bud. Yeah. Hey, a price for that one. No, I just came to talk to the doctor. Yeah. Tom? Quint coincidentally just walked in while I'm here. <laughs> Randomly just, yeah. Coincidentally walked in while you're here. <laughs> in the building that we used to work at. Yeah. yeah. Curious, why did you promote me over all those other people? Uh, you seem like the right guy for the job. So then you expanded the three dispensaries and then put me up on a burner phone so... They all called me, and then I called you on the burner phone. So when we got raided, it all would have looked like I ran the place. No. That's, that's the point of the burner story. phone, right? Everybody in the industry was using burner phones back in 2010. But not me. You had them call my personal phone, each of the three dispensaries I worked at. Your personal burner phone? No. They called my personal cell phone, and then I called you guys on the burner phone. So all the dispensaries called my personal phone number. Yeah. And it looked like I was running all three and then I'd call on the burner phone. So if somebody was gonna raid those dispensaries, all the phone records would have pointed to me. So I would have gone to jail for 20 years for you guys. Nobody was gonna go to jail. I was, because I was the only one who worked there who wasn't a DEA agent. This <laughs> for The were stealing our name. What's that? But they were, our, they were in our name. Uh -huh. But you lived in Mexico. My brother lived here, I lived in Mexico. At the time, you both lived in Mexico. My brother never lived in Mexico. That's not what I thought. Yeah. Obviously, I stepped into something here. I'm going to yeah. take off. Now. Yeah. Man. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, take care of yourself. I got history man. with this guy. Yeah, you sure do. I'm going to go have lunch right now. Yeah. Call me when you when you guys are Right? That's why... I, you know, I need to talk to people before 11 o'clock when yeah. people start rolling. I, yeah, you said 11.30. I would have been here at 11. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, when I we'll, went up there, that one yeah. doctor... We'll talk. We'll talk. Right. Bye-bye now. Good luck, sir. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Put your name, date of birth. So, I, I mean, I, sending... I understand the process, but I also know that your boss could make a phone call and confirm that what I'm saying is true. Confirm that there really is an investigation of me. And if you do that, then everything changes. I mean, that, is, that, that violates the Geneva Convention. It violates any term of decency. And what do I do? I mean, I understand you're gonna file paperwork, but what do I do? I mean, 
like I said, that's all we can do is just to file this casework and get an answer from the FBI. I can follow up with them. We we allow all agencies thirty days to get back to us, and then we have then we can follow up via phone call to get it to see what the status of your case is. But it does take time. Right. We can only we can only work as fast as we can work, and we'll make sure that we get an answer from the FBI and see. What's so going so on. what 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 do you? I mean, all right, so their answer is either going to be yes, we're investigating, or no, we never heard of them. Right? Those are basically going to be their two answers. So they admit they're investigating me and that this has gone on for nine years. Then what happened? I don't know, sir. I mean, I, I'm not, I've been trying to follow, like, to read up on your case. I'm not sure what they would have to say. I'd be curious to hear what they have to say <laughs> on this. Too. But when we do hear, you'll be the first to hear too. So. What do I do until then? <laughs> I, mean, I spent my last five dollars on on a bus ticket to get to Bakersfield, so I could come to this office, so you guys could see that I'm a human being. This is what I'm. Uh, this is my stuff. I have to push it around because I've been fired from my last five jobs because they will not let me work. And the last job uh, from Greenpeace, it was obvious that the FBI had me fired because the the process by which I was fired could not have happened with Greenpeace by itself. But what do I do? I mean, I we have I could refer you to a job center. I could. <laughs> They're not going. To, I got a job with Greenpeace. I did well. My boss fired me because the FBI told him to. Two weeks into my job. Okay. So going to get another job is not an option. They will not let me work. How they. You, okay. How do you consider seeking free legal counsel? From. There's a Greater Legal Services local of uh, Bakersfield. It's a Kern County uh, organization. And they could tell you if you have a case or not. And they could research and do the research for you. I guess that'd be a start. I know I reached to. out to the, the um, ACLU four separate times and never heard back. I'd be happy to get you their information. Uh, I guess that'd be a start. They provide free legal services. Change their walking distance? I'm not sure of where. I literally don't have a dollar left to my name. And at this point, you got to understand my position. If I commit an act of terrorism today, the story comes out. Well, I would suggest not committing. An yeah, act of I don't want to. I refrained for nine fucking years, but no one will help me. Okay. So, please help me. Well, like I said, we'll do everything our office has in its power to do. Thanks. Thank you for your help. Yes, sir. I'm a special agent with the FBI. Okay? I'm sorry, you what? I'm a special agent with the FBI. Okay. Okay, so your complaints with the FBI. Uh huh. Right? Yes. Can you tell me briefly uh -huh. what the deal is? Okay. Nine years ago, I stood up at a San Diego Board of Supervisors meeting and I said some inflammatory things. From that point on, the FBI has been, well, for the first couple of years, they just kind of monitored me, but from the last six years or so, they've been torturing me. Agents have raped and tortured my daughter. Now here, she's here in Bakersfield. Not in Bakersfield, in California, though. Where? Uh, well, it's happened all over. It's happened. The, the actual rape happened in Lancaster. And how do you know it's an FBI agent that did that? Well, it may be a DEA agent. I don't know, but okay, whoever. But, but hang on. So you're already starting to, to shift because no, you're going there. No, I'm not starting to shift to because. Say, hang on. Okay. I don't want to get all confrontational here, but okay. but here's the deal. If you're going to tell me that it's all FBI, FBI, FBI. Uh -huh. Now, when I ask you who it is, and you're going to say, well, maybe it's somebody else. Uh -huh. Maybe it's somebody else. Why How would I know? That's what I'm asking you. Okay. Why, why well, do you think it's a DEA agent? Well, because of how much drugs they do, I would assume that some of them are DEA agents, and the fact that I worked for a dispensary in San Diego that was run by the DEA, and I was set up to spend 20 years in jail until I walked away. So I know the DEA has something to do with this, considering the whole thing started because I was a medical marijuana activist. Okay, okay. But now, the last five employers that have fired me, fired me because somebody went to them with the national security letter and told them to fire me. Now, I don't know if it was the FBI. You have that letter? Are you retarded? I'm just asking. Okay, it's a national security letter. If they admitted to me that they fired me because the FBI told them to, they would go to jail. So I have no way of proving any of this. So I went to my congressman's office and tried to avail myself of my constitutional right to have them look into it. Now, I said something to try to get them to care a little more, and that obviously sent them to call you. 
So my question to D. Brantley here is what what is the perimeter of where I'm allowed to be? If they're not allowing me on the property, I am legally allowed to be on the sidewalk in front of their property, correct? You are correct. Thank you. That's where I will be. Okay, the only question that I have is, uh -huh. you have no uh, desire to do any type of act of terrorism, violence, or anything like that? If I had, I would have done it long ago. That's not what I asked. Okay. Are you right now, do you want to go commit some type of act of terrorism, violence, or anything like that? I do not, and I would like the FBI to stop trying to make me do that by raping and torturing I'm, my daughter. I'm right here, I'm not doing that. No, you're not, but okay, so someone so raped talk. and tortured my daughter. Okay. And the reason they did that was so I would commit a terrorist act. Okay. okay. Today you now don't I feel like doing that? No, I never felt okay. like doing it. I want them to That's, fucking leave me alone. We will. And I want you all to realize that this is real, okay? This is a real thing that the FBI has tortured my family. She's mentally disabled and she was raped because they were trying to push me to commit a terrorist act. Okay? okay? That's what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Well, we're great. As long as you're not doing anything today, anything here in Bakersfield, we're good. All right. Have we're a great day. Right. It looks like a crime scene. It looks like a crime scene. She threw up and yelled and screamed all night. Again. Is this thing on? Yeah. So here are the guys who did this to her. The guys that did this to her. The gang of motherfuckers who did this to her. See, it was Josh. Small world, huh, man? What's up, boy? How you doing? Good, how you doing? Alright. I want to talk to you about something. Your hypnotist, your hypnotist training. What? You always used to talk about hypnosis. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you recalling this with some movie and some some you know crazy psychedelic trip that you were on some time? That there was a little leprechaun in, and, you know, there's a correlation there, and you're figuring it all. No, out you talked in depth about. Uh, to you. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Man. At your house, you talked in depth about knowing about. Putting people under hypnosis. How easy it was. I remember that conversation? John, Johnny, who raped her. When we have the problem, I said, I'll give you your fucking money back, go find a fucking place. You come in and said, get next day, I'll find the place. I'll give your money back. By law, you can't do that. See? This is why I said I didn't want this talk. These people don't want to have a fucking talk. There is no talk. Yeah, I know. They just eat up all my food and all that shit. And tell Nobody believe eats me, your fucking food. Nothing's a problem. Yeah, See, a lot of our food disappeared. Name it. Make a list. Okay. I'll go to the fucking no, grocery wait. store. See, you say one oh, fucking shit. thing, I'll knock you the fuck out. One fuck thing about Johnny, you. Don't even Come fucking down. talk to me, no. stupid. I'm already at my wit's end with you. Why? Hold on. Give, Give me one reason. Give me a reason. Don't why? even why? Raise your toes. No, I don't want to like an action. action. Just give me a reason why I'm a problem for you. You gotta stop talking. No, I just want to know what his reason is. No, dude, you want to act violent and shit? I'll get the cops in here. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Recording? Okay. Um, I used to go out with a guy named John previous, before coming into this house with Johnny. And one night, when we we all used to sleep in the living room, and there was a girl named Heather. I don't think she was there that day, but I slept beside him. I think because Heather was in was there, but she left. You slept beside John or Johnny? I slept beside Johnny. Johnny was, John was nowhere near around that house. I hadn't seen him for a while. So, so I was sleeping next to him, and in the middle of the night, he started, he was humping and grinding a little bit on me, and, and my pants came down, and his dick went in, and I said, oh, John, thinking it was John. And it wasn't, by the time I figured this out was when I realized because he was going down on me and there were two teeth missing in the front of his fucking face. That was it. So you thought it was John who you were dating, but it was really it was John. Re I, yep, I thought it was John and it was, found out later it was Johnny. And even when I found out later, 
I confronted him later either too and said I can't believe that was you dude and you should have knew better because I said John not Johnny so you did you tell him no I even told him why I didn't tell him no at the time I told him because you thought it was yeah but no, I told say him. it no say it you have to say it you, I, why didn't you tell him no I didn't tell him no at the time because I thought it was John you didn't tell Johnny no because you thought it was John. Yeah, I didn't tell it. Johnny no because I thought it was John. Carlos. And now it's Jace. Jace the, is the last of the ones that have done this to her. Stop it! Fuck, dude! question remember when I had that van for a few days yeah. for a week and then you guys were, were all at the storage unit you and her were in the storage unit and I was sitting outside yeah I heard her say quote don't snap your fingers at me I'm not a dog and then you did one big huge snap of your fingers and then her head dropped to her chest and then it raised back up and she said what do I do and you told her to go to sleep and then she laid down and went to sleep can you explain that to me? Snap, I might no, you snapped your fingers because yes. It's as loud as I can snap. Yes. Right after she told you to stop snapping your fingers out. Because the three guys she was with before you, I all I caught them all putting her under hypnosis. Okay, well I don't know hypnosis. Right now, but, um, well then why did she I'm tell a you? Comic, bro. I don't read into books and I'm not into hypnosis like that. Well then how did you put her under hypnosis? I didn't put her under hypnosis. I watched you do it. Okay, how'd you watch it if we were behind the curtain? You weren't behind the curtain. You were sitting. There was no curtain up then. You were sitting. She had the fucking. Uh, this was before the curtain was there. You were both sitting. That curtain was there the first time I ever. Well, she didn't have it closed that moment then, okay, because well, I, I heard her say that. Under hypnosis. I watched. Trust me, if I had somebody under hypnosis set, she would not be acting like she is right now. Well, you guys. She would not call you stressed out. If my hypnosis would be good attitude all day long, trust and believe that. Well, I wish that would be the situation. Well, fucking, that's what I'm telling you, your, your hypnosis things. I know I know you got fucking, your imagination is fucking huge. I watched you do it. Okay, well, I'm telling you, your imagination is huge. Okay. you got a very broad imagination. Mm -hmm. But I don't know nothing about hypnosis. You're fucking, how old are you? 43. Okay, you got 20-something years on me. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for the last eight of them, I've watched every guy she's with okay, well, fuck with her to the point that she doesn't even know who she is anymore. Yeah, well, look, this is what she does. She runs off and goes and finds dope dealers to come to her aid. Well, I'm sure she does. That's what, that's been the whole point. That's all they've been doing year after year. The guys before you fattened her up. The ones that made her lose custody of Stone that she was living with. For, for weeks and weeks, they kept cooking stews and steaks. She kept joking. She's like, it's like they're fattening me up. And then one day, they just became tweakers. After fattening her up and making her body image really fucked up, they just became tweakers in the house. So what did she do? She did tweak, and then she lost her son. So you want to come to me as a man, I'm going to tell you what I've seen year after year. And if I saw you as separate from that pattern, that would be great. The only person I saw separate from that pattern was a guy named, uh, what the fuck was his name? I forgot now. Anyway, the one guy who, who she's known for years. And what happened? A cop moves into the house with them, gets them all tweaked out, breaks up their relationship. The one guy who didn't fuck with her, someone moves into the house and fucks up the whole thing. Now you come into her life. Now you come into her life literally the day after your best friend steals everything I own. I did get robbed. But you do rob people. What's that? You, so, burglaries. So, someone's sleeping over there against the wall. You grab their suitcase and they're... You didn't steal my shit. Why don't you tell me why? I'm in the same situation you are. Yeah, so why would you steal all my shit? I didn't. You did. You did, Nark. Huh? I said you did, Nark. Nark? Yeah. You know what a Nark is? Yeah, I do know what a Nark is. I think it's amazing you come over and start a conversation with me after stealing all my shit. Small fucking world, huh? Yeah. 
Alright. Karma's a bitch. Okay? At the same time. Now hold on, hold on. Every day, day since her. the day you met her, every single holiday since the day you met her, you have made our life a living hell. On her on my birthday, Mother's Day, you made her cry five times. What kind of bar boyfriend makes you know she lost her kid and you make her cry five times on Mother's Day, which just happens to be my birthday. Five times. So come to me as a man and explain that. People have arguments. But I'm asking to forgive but not to forget, okay? Because it's you need to forgive but don't forget. About what? The shit that's happened. The shit that went down on, on uh, July 4th? July 4th. Well, yeah. Okay. Another holiday. It was actually before the holiday. No, I know, but she found out on July 4th. Right. Okay, well. I didn't even call it his mom. Going, I think I'm pregnant. I think I'm pregnant. I don't want to be with this TV kid. What happened? Up until the 3rd of July, I everything was great. Was, um, I freak out, right? For no reason. No, I freak out for a good reason. He was doing shit like that. On July 4th. Not on July 4th. That's when I found out everything. You I found out everything good, on July 4th. I didn't have a good July 4th. I didn't see no fireworks on July 4th. I need to know what's going on, dude. What? I don't know. I don't... Well, you just tested negative. I don't think you're pregnant. It's still... It's still... Dollar tree. I have not had my period. I was supposed to have it either the last week of the month or the beginning week of this month. I still don't have it. My appetite is twice the amount it ever was. Are you hungry now? No. Want some fried chicken? No. no. Split chicken and waffles with him? I'm scared. I want to get home. Scared of what? Yeah. Of him what? What the? After no, all this, no, now you. My not showing up. I'm scared he's going to cheat on me, and I'm not going to. In the hour no, you're no. gone, you're afraid he's going to cheat on you. You're lucky, Jeff. Why? Because you don't want to be in a relationship and feel like this. How do you think I felt last night when you called me hysterically crying that he was hurting you, and when I called back, you asked, you acted you like you had a gun to your head? No, you don't need around you without you freaking out. No, well, you don't need that from... That's you don't need I that. Feel. I know, but it's... Oh you're stronger than that. Okay? You really are. Like, I know I'm pregnant, it's gotta be, because I don't know why I'm this emotionally disturbed. Well, last time I saw you, you said you were huffing. You told me you did. I was not. But you were then, you told me the other day that you had just like done that. a long time ago. It was like four days ago. <laughs> no, but I'm saying that after you do, you're emotional for like a week afterwards. Well, I haven't, it has been way longer than a week. No, it was four days ago. You came on July 3rd and told me you had just done it. You don't remember doing it to I'm get him? Upset. I'm just telling you that... I know what I'm just trying to tell you, but you're just going to come up with a different excuse. No, I'm just I'm telling, telling you what you told me. I've been pregnant before, and I'm pregnant before. I'm yeah. telling you what I'm feeling because I am pregnant. Well, that's, I'm sure, the best part of it. I've never been pregnant before? No, I'm sure that's part of it. If you're on no drugs, of course you're going to be stressed All out. I know is when she's pregnant. Yeah. I know I'm pregnant. Vicky! Vicky! Okay, just let the pain go, Vicky. Let the pain go. Let it go. Jace did this to you! Just like he did last time! Snap the fuck out of it! 
Whatever he said, make it stop. He said something to you on the phone. You've been sick ever since. He did this a year ago too, dude. I got it all on tape. You have to snap into the, another personality or it won't stop. And I'm, I'm gonna I explain it to the morning nurse, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on. When she wakes up from where she, she you have her sedated now, of course. When she wakes up from that, she's gonna be fine. And she's gonna be asking for a cigarette and saying she wants to get out of there. Because she doesn't have a medical problem, she there's a gang of five guys who have been hypnotizing her, and with a post-hypnotic suggestion, they have get her to think there's something in her stomach she has to throw up. And I've been documenting for this for four different hospitals over the last three years. So... They will, sweetie. Are they bringing her food, or should we? Can we go get food? Oh, they're gonna bring her. Okay. I don't leave that, so I'm gonna go get me cafeteria food. Cause I've been waiting for a good minute. Can she go get some? Or yeah, I mean, really. Just, no, that, that can, cell phone's uh, making her hungry. You can go, but the patient can't really okay. go out of the unit. In case the patient's I'm not, walking in. No. That. So I'll call you and tell you what they have there. That's yeah. some ridiculous shit, man. No. I'm still in the hospital. I know, man. but you can roam the whole, the whole hospital. Well, then let me have a security guard come with me. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm honestly, uh, this, I've been having the worst service here ever. Honestly, uh, I've been having the worst service here ever. And I've been documenting for this for four different hospitals over the last three years. So if you, if she seems fine, say mamas. Mamas is the personality they switch her into so they can, so she gets sick. Now I've been dealing with this. She's, this hasn't happened in a year. A year ago, this happened over and over again and it stopped. And all of a sudden, the boyfriend, who's part of this gang, called her mamas again two days ago. She gets off the phone with him, and she started throwing up. And she basically hasn't stopped until she comes out of it. They, you, you, same thing happened at the other hospital down the street. We went in. They, she was screaming like a lunatic, throwing up all over everything. They sedated her. She woke up. She was fine. She wanted to leave. So I'm telling you, there's a psychological thing going on here, and. I can show you the pictures of the throwing up and the screaming and yelling all night long, but this, something needs, you can't just release her. Something needs to be investigated here because, well, do you have a psychologist on staff? Well, they just need to, to get her out of that personality. There's, there's, she has, she has multiple person. She may say bi uh, bipolar, but that's just what her mother's shorthand for was. My uncle's bipolar. Victoria is not bipolar. She has multiple personality disorders. She has six personalities. And these guys manipulated, Mamas is the name of our dead cat. And they manipulated her to think she has a new personality called Mamas. And when they call her Mamas and she switches into that, she yells and screams and throws up for hours on end. Well, and, and you know what? I, I, she's calling me right now. Um, can, can I answer her? Can, I don't want to put you on hold, but she's probably freaking out. Is she awake now? Apparently. Uh, yes, she is. I can see her. Up in bed. Yeah, she's. Let me, let me. You can talk to no, her. No, she. I, I'll call her back. I'll call her back. Um, so, so I don't know what to do because if you tell her I said that, she's gonna flip out and start yelling and screaming about me. But I, I, I mean, it's gonna. We'll see. It, she'll see you again tomorrow. Is what I'm saying because this has happened over and over again. I don't. Is there a way we could get her to see someone even for mental health care? I mean, not just in the hospital, but going forward. I mean, that well, that would that would be great. But she's not going to do it based on me saying this. That's why while she's in there, if you have someone who could put her under hypnosis and ask her what's going on, this will all come out. I mean, this is a gang up. They didn't just hit. They yeah. drugged her with dust off. I have videotape footage of her being all drugged out on dust off and they manipulate her personalities. And uh, 
You haven't gone to LA yet. You know, I've been waiting for three days. You keep saying you're on your way to come say goodbye to me for three days, dude. Sorry. I've been waiting by the train station for like three days. Why didn't go on the screen? My screen keeps this thing. It's working. Is there a reason you just kind of left me stranded for three days? Mm, what do you say? It's working. What are you on, dude? I don't know. I woke up being sad. Makes me like I'm hot. Yeah. Oh, God. You okay? No, I just want to make sure you're okay. Well, did they? I'm not even here. I haven't been here. His windows are open in his car and it's parked out front. He can't up and no, gone long. No, he leaves like that all the time. So he gets picked up for work. I actually has a new red, red one and he parked right up front. Yeah, it's still there. You know what there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Unless he got picked up by his worker, he gets that all the time too. Yeah. Oh, it's John. I'm back. John? He's gone for the week. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, shit. What does this mean? Why was somebody doing that? Yeah, he was doing that to you. Because he... No, he was doing that to you. I don't know. He was giving you a signal. I don't know. Maybe he's just wondering what the fuck the eye meant. You know, my uncle Brian, the magician. He's the only person I've ever met who talks about hypnosis as much as these guys do. That knows what? Talks about hypnosis as intimately as these guys do. They are very skilled in hypnosis, and they talk about it like that, like he does, because he's skilled in hypnosis. Hmm. So be careful. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but what they, you being that sick and then walking into a room and all of a sudden you were better, and they're like, you better, like they had done that. If they had given you a post-hypnotic suggestion to be sick and then to, at a certain signal, unbe sick, that is exactly why you were, you were like, boom, I'm better. I spoke spice. True. That's when they walked in the room. So we'll never know which one. I it felt was. better before they walked to the room. Remember, I said that they yeah. they came in. Yeah. Okay. We don't know yet for sure. I know. But, but I like the, I'm taking your suggestion. Please, I just need to be honest with you because I love you and I'm scared with you being here because they laughed way too much about you being sick. No one laughs that much about someone being that sick. So be careful. And I love you. I know enough about hypnosis to know that they were laughing hysterically about you being incredibly sick for seven hours. Both times that you got sick, you were unable to use your phone. Like, unable to use it. And when I asked you, when I got a hold of you last night, you said it like, well, I was sick, I couldn't call you. How could I possibly have? You always call me if something's going on. Even if you're puking, you would pick up the phone, you would dial my number, I'm puking a little later, but. You were unable to use the phone for seven hours. At which point I was sitting I outside of people, You said you couldn't. Them. You told me that you tried to dial your grandma and couldn't do it. And you couldn't call me. When I walked in when you were sick, they kept saying as I'm walking in, they're like, now that Seth's here, she's going to get all better. I said I wouldn't. No, I know. Because I kept saying I know. I know you kept saying it. <laughs> when you called me on the phone, <laughs> you said, oh my God, just talking to you makes me feel better. <laughs> Here's what a hypnotic suggestion is. Okay? When you have someone in a hypnosis, you say, you're going to be very sick. Because you told me you felt like there were like bugs crawling under your skin. You kept trying to feel, look at this, this is weird. This is a hypnotic suggestion. You're going to feel so sick, you can't dial your phone until they give you the signal otherwise. And the signal was me showing up. There was a show put on for John when he got home that night. They talked about it. I heard Josh and John talk about it. I have videotape of the old guy next door saying he wishes he was at the hot show. If you don't remember it, sweetie, then something's going on, and I'm, that's why I'm scared. <laughs> they, would you like to watch the video of the old guy saying no. he wished he saw the show? Mm. And you don't remember anything happening when John getting home other than him asking for sex, and you said no. Right, you and I have known each other a long time. All parts of your personality know you can trust me. Hypnosis is about getting parts of your personality to shut off and getting one to do what, what 
the, hip, the hypnosis person says. So, you all know that you can trust me. And whatever they're doing to you, sweetie, I'm sorry. And well, I mean, our psychiatrists don't do hyp 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 hypnosis. Okay. They're, I mean, they're not, they, so you're going to release her? Well, I, I, I mean, it's four options, but yeah. our, our, I said our, our psychiatrists don't do hypnosis. Yeah. I mean, that's just not something they do. Well, I mean, what would you, if, what would you think's going on then? I mean, if she's throwing up and screaming like a lunatic over and over and over again, I, I mean, I don't, hold, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the ambulance driver looked frightened because she was screaming like a lunatic. I mean, you saw her. Yeah, no, I understand. Um, I'm calling her on my other phone right now. Let me see if she wants to stay or if she wants to go because this... Because I just don't want her freaking out that she couldn't get a hold of me. But I don't know. Uh -huh. Hey, I got your doctor on the line. Are you... Do you want to stay there and have them look at you more or you try want to leave? I can wait. You want to leave? They have a Virginia bus pass, 24 hour bus pass. Okay. Alright, well, I'm, uh, I'll be I'm at this. I'm in though. Yeah, I know. Um, I am too. Alright, let me finish talking to your doctor. I'll call you back. Okay. Right. Okay, so, you I see, mean, she, would, she be, would, she, would she be willing to follow up with some kind of mental health, you know, professional or clinic that. If you didn't call it mental health. If you said this is someone who can help you deal with stress, because, okay, the, the, the thing she agrees on that's causing this is stress. So she doesn't realize that it's the stress of that mama's personality that they created comes up and then starts throwing up. So I need to be able to teach her how to put that mama's personality back away because that's all it does is get sick. It didn't exist before. When she was screaming last night, she kept calling herself mamas. And that's the, what the guy said on the phone that made her start throwing up. And what did they drug her with? Yeah, dust off. What is that? It's a, that inhalant, like, uh, that, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So once they do that, they can manipulate her per personalities at will. And, I mean, I'm documenting this, but I can't get anyone to take me seriously because it sounds so ridiculous. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, I can certainly give her some follow-up options and say that it's to treat stress that may be causing her perfect because she's just going to bring that in. she's just going to bring that paperwork to me and then i can move forward with that so that would be perfect okay let me let me um provide her some info i don't can you you know ba okay. ba based on the, the ct scan i don't think that there's anything clearly wrong in her abdomen so yeah, I, I, I mean like what you're that you're essentially what you're saying is it's something psychological not, yeah psychological uh -oh, which i think fits yeah, because I mean, this, we keep going through this, and that's the only real answer because there's nothing physically wrong with her. It's literally in her head, but getting her to realize that these guys put it in her head is going to be the tough part because it's. They drugged her so much, I can't even. But yeah, if, if you can give her. Could you give her a prescription for an antacid? Because that's what she. Even as a placebo effect, that's what she believes will help her stomach. So if she had an antacid that was prescribed and she knew it was a good and acid. I mean, I can't just buy, if, I, I could just buy her Tums, but we're literally homeless and begging. I don't have enough money to get to, to your hospital because I'm begging for yeah, money um, right now. So, so I was gonna, because I was worried about how much pain and, and vomiting she was saying she was having, I was gonna send her over with a prescription for a small quantity of pain medicine and nausea medicine, but I can certainly add an antacid. Definitely, thank you. And um, what which pain medicine, because she's had problems with which one were you going to send her? Because she's had problems with it, some of them. With addiction? Well, just with... Herpes. Yeah, yeah. Often. Well, uh, I had written a prescription for Norco, which does contain a narcotic, but if you think that would not... I think if work. you put her on Norco, she's going to want to come back to the hospital when the Norcos are gone from more Norcos. I don't, she's not going to be in pain once... Okay, then I'll just prescribe her a nausea medicine, which is not addictive, and then the antacid. Perfect. Like, yeah. That, if, if only for placebo effect, that's going to help her deal with it when I get back. And I'm going to try to find a hypnotherapist that can help her fix this because it's, it's, I mean, I'm, it's breaking my heart. It's sure. all night uh, long screaming and puking. I can't, it, I've never seen anyone in that much pain in my entire life. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I will give her some prescriptions. Okay. Um, and, uh. Don't tell her I said anything about this. Just give her the, the mental health thing. Say it's for stress, and I'll she bring me the paperwork, and I'll make the appointments and and okay. work her through that. 
I don't do that. And what was your name again, I'm sorry? Uh, Chris Wiesner. Thank you so much, Doctor. I, I really appreciate your help. Uh, no problem at all. Thank you for the call. Have a good day. Bye-bye. A year ago, almost to the day, she was sitting across from me, eating a meal at a restaurant. Jace called on the phone. He said something to her. All of a sudden, her eyes go back in her head, and she becomes this. Right here. It's right here. This table's right here. I'm not. It's not sweating anymore, but I still feel my stomach. When did you last huff? I huffed like two days ago. That was two days ago? You okay? Vicky? I don't feel like that. I know you don't. <laughs> this is now the fourth guy in a row that's done this to you. Oh my god, it's not Jeez. He called you and then you No, it isn't. I was eating and I went to go take a shit. And when I go take a shit, sometimes that happens to me. Don't start shit with Jace because he'll start it. They'll just straight fight you. Okay? You remember the first time they did this? Oh my god, so get inside the restaurant when you want. At your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis, how easy it was. You remember that conversation? This, in all his glory, is Jace, a.k.a. Brent Keeler, a.k.a. Robert Keeler, a.k.a. Youngster. He has so many names. Can you guys call the police, please? Can you guys call the police, please? For this motherfucker. He's a fucking sneaky ass dog. He's never left since I've been here. Well, he just left. Yes, that's he's kind of interesting. Because I'm sitting right here. He was just in my lap. Next time I tell you, he's my fucking dog. Then why does he if keep running away be from out you? Back, why does he keep running away from you? He don't run away from me. He just left, dude. Exactly. And you were watching him, dumbass. I wasn't watching him. I was sitting right here, dude. But I fucking tell you about my dog. I was Numerous sitting right here, times, dude. Numerous times. Yes. If you're gonna have my dog outside, uh -huh. fucking watch him. If you're I not gonna am be paying, watching him. Apparently not, dumbass, because he got out. How? How did he get out? Why don't hit me? Cause I'm fuck fucking sleeping, dumbass. You're the one with him outside. You fucking retard. Don't, let, don't you want to know how he got out? So you. Have I know to... how he got out. How? I know how he got out. How? Fucker, throughout the, the house, homeboy. Throughout the house. Look at the fucking house, you that fucking hole. retard. He went under the yes, hole. Yes, and there's another hole on the backside. You fucking idiot. Well, he couldn't get to that one. All he's gotta do is go underneath the house, you fucking jackass. Well, that gate go used to work. Go look at the fucking hole by my window. No, I know how they get out, but Tank has never left before just now. He just left now, motherfucker. Why? He's left numerous times. Uh, he's never left since I've been here. Does that... I don't understand, dude. Oh, what? I went to the police, tried to get them to do something, but these guys are police. They're DEA agents, I'm guessing, because of the amount of drugs that they do, or FBI agents. I don't know who they are, but someone needs to find out, because this is insane, that this is happening to my family. Why? Why is this happening? Because I did this. Ten years ago. And this is the lawsuit that could shut us down. It all started here, January 10th. 2006. So of course, Homeland Security checked me out, and I'm sure they looked at this film I made back in 2004, and they saw this. See, I put in the disclaimer that I'm non-violent, but for some reason, I think that scared Homeland Security a little bit. I was an activist, man. I Mr. did. Mr. Mayor, there are so many better candidates. Mr. Mayor, no better candidates. 
Mr. Mayor, could you give a flower to Mr. Manis for me, please? No. please? Sorry. No. But it's it's for Mr. Manis. It's just a flower. Much better candidates. It's good for you. It heals people. Anyone want to guess money whether or not that camera is trained on me right now? What do you think? Spread the ladybug love, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. The press slept through it as usual. So when I did my ill-advised protest and took the bridge hostage, when I occupied the bridge for six hours and caused the largest traffic jam in San Diego history, the part of the story you probably haven't heard is about three hours into it, I gave up. I was willing to surrender right there on the spot on one condition. Bonnie Dumanis, get on the phone with me and I will surrender to her. That traffic jam went on another three and a half hours because Bonnie Dumanis was too afraid to talk to a homeless guy on a bridge. This is supposed to be the most powerful, one of the most powerful people in San Diego. There she is right at the top floor of the Justice Building, ruining people's lives like she does best. Good job, Bonnie Dumanis. So I am truly sorry. I am truly sorry for everyone who was caught in that traffic jam. It was wrong of me to involve the people of San Diego in my personal beef with the government. But that traffic jam would have ended hours earlier if Bonnie Demonis, sitting up there in her office, wasn't afraid to get on the phone with me. I told the cops on the bridge, I will walk off right now. Just get Bonnie Demonis on the phone, I will surrender to her. And hours went by and she just wouldn't get on the phone. <coughs> Bonnie Demonis, <coughs> that's my Bonnie Demonis impression. I arrest marijuana patients, but I'm afraid to talk to one. So, get the last few ladybugs here at the Hall of Justice. I think this bag of ladybugs, I think I'm gonna put it right there. I don't think justice is too much to ask. Hey, look, a bunch of ladybugs flying around the justice building. All right, ladybugs, let's see if we can get some justice. And I interviewed other activists. If this, if the Supreme Court, if the Supreme Court sides with you, mm -hmm. cannabis is legal nationwide for religious purposes. Correct. Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen, brother. I don't even. I mean, that's the DEA stole his money, took his kids, and ruined his life. So for the first few weeks, it might just be me coming to this building, yelling at it releasing some ladybugs, but I'm gonna do this every week, every Tuesday at four until we stop the war. And you know what? Maybe it'll spread. Maybe other people will do it across America. Here at the federal building, I'm setting ladybugs free to make a point. This is supposed to be a free country. If it's just me, that's fine, but people are gonna join me eventually. I'm Frank Barish here at the federal building to say, stop the war. I'm coming out here every Tuesday at four until we stop the war to try to get my rights back, to try to restore the Constitution of the United States. I'm just a homeless guy at the federal building, releasing ladybugs, trying to get my Constitution back. I miss that thing. The Constitution, oh, it was great. Back in the day when we had it, then they signed that Patriot Act thing, and then boom, no more Constitution. Oh, ladybugs be free, like I wish I was, but I'm not, because this government here won't stop bugging me, oh yeah. Go, go, Frank Barish, oh yeah, everybody write in Frank Barish, oh yeah. Ready? Yeah. Frank for president, not. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thank you. I worry about my daughter's future. Thank you, Daddy. You guys need to write in Frank Barish, oh yeah. I know it, you know it. We all know this country's in trouble. That's why surfers will write in Frank Barish for president. You guys ready? Here he comes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Frankie B. Yeah, we do. We love you, Frank. Thanks. This has been the economic policy of this country for far too long. Write me in and I'll fix it. This bee is dying. Why? Hell, Clinton's not gonna stand up to the companies that are killing our bees. I will. I'm at the federal building ranting about the government, our government. I'm just speaking to Americans now. The rest of you can sit this one out, just get some popcorn. Every week I'm gonna come here at four. What if there was a way you could tell the system? Well, on election day, you could write in Frank Barish. You could do that. They do their thing. They do their thing, man. They fight mosquitoes. 
they fight mosquitoes, they eat mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are like meals for them and they don't like the taste of humans. That's what I like about ladybugs. They do not like the taste of humans whatsoever. We disgust them. So I set them free and they eat the mosquitoes and the mosquitoes don't bite us. That's what I do. I'm like, like the Johnny Appleseed of, uh, I'm like the Johnny Appleseed of ladybugs. But you at home, I mean, you can watch me every week, come here and yell at the federal building. Let's do this. Let's do this, oh yeah. They're slowly dispersing amongst the trees and they're gonna look for yummy mosquitoes and they won't find any, so they're gonna fly over there and then kill mosquitoes over there. And then they'll spread and they'll have offspring and San Diego will be protected from the Zika virus and just itchy mosquito bites. <laughs> I believe in the Constitution of the United States of America. I believe in freedom. I believe in justice. I believe justice eventually gets done. Truth eventually prevails. And I'm going to hold on for that day. I believe in that day. I believe that day will one day come. When freedom for all Americans includes the freedom to grow a plant that George Washington grew. To grow a plant whose flowers Jesus put in his healing oils. That's the plant that I have the freedom to grow. And the people who are trying to put us away, those who would arrest those who would grow it, the prohibitionists are the ones that are in violation of the Constitution of the United States of America. And they will not prevail. They will not prevail. I believe in the United States of America. I believe in truth, justice, and the American way. I love my country. I love my freedom. And the government shall not take that from me. Period. That's the federal building, folks. Say hello to my nemesis, the federal government of the United States. Not by choice, of course. Oh no, I don't want it this way. But it needs to be a warmonger, this guy. This, this government of mine. Hey, government. Still being a warmonger? Yeah, why? Can you not? Can you just not be warmongers anymore? Can we? This is my building. This is my building. Hello, everybody. This is my federal building. And it's yours, too. So let's, uh, I don't know, stand up for the Constitution of the United States every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. 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 War ruins lives. It ruins families. It ruins human bodies. The death and destruction for what? For so oil money can go to Saudi Arabian? I don't get it, man. What? What are we fighting for anymore? Because freedoms, my freedoms were taken away when the Patriot Act was signed. The world's freedoms were taken over when George Bush decided he can start just invading countries at will. Well, yeah, sure, they have no connection to 9-11, but 9-11, 9-11, 9-11, 9-11, and here we go in Iraq. And all those people died for nothing. They died for nothing. They died so Dick Cheney's friends could go from being millionaires to billionaires. That's what they died for. Ah, damn it. It took hundreds of thousands of protesters 10 years to stop the Vietnam War. And this war, well, most Americans think this is a good idea because, you know, we were attacked on 9-11. So once we signed away our rights with the Patriot Act, this government of ours can do anything it wants to the world. Carte blanche, as they say. After George Bush murdered her son, Cindy Sheehan went out and she sat at his ranch day after day and she just demanded to, just to ask him one question. What noble cause? 
What noble cause? What noble cause? She never got an answer. This building's your building, this building's my building. This land is your land, this land is my land. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Oh, this land was made for you and me. Yeah. Every Tuesday at four until we stop the war. So I think that's about it for this week. I'll see you next week and every other week after that until we finally stop the war. Because I'm coming out here every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. Call your congressman and say no more. Tell him to say no. Tell him to say no to war. Tell him to say no to war. Tell him to say no to war. Have you called your congressman now, 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 now? Have you called your congressman now, 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 now? For reals, though, you have to call your congressperson. This is it. We are the American people, and we don't want war. A do do da 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 do do da da da. Boom boom ba ba da ba 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 doom boom ba la ba. Every Tuesday at four, ba ba da da da. Till we stop the war, wherever you are. On Tuesday at four, say something, yeah yeah. Do something, yeah yeah. To stop the war, stop the war, stop the war. Because I love that flag, that flag right there. Every Tuesday at four. Because I love that flag, the American flag. It's in our hands. We're the American people, oh yeah. So, all singing aside, I think uh, everyone should just take to the streets or just, you know, protest in place, as they say. On Tuesday at 4 every week you take that day off a little early if you can you know what I gotta be out of here at 4 because I'm gonna try to stop the war no I didn't think of it some some homeless guy thought of it some homeless guy that almost crashed his cart just then trying to get that shot <laughs> because I'm also a bit of a filmmaker I don't know if you noticed every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. So, uh, see you next week. Dissent is the highest form of patriotism. Whoa, man, it's like I'm a ghost, man. Whoa. Do I look ghostly to you? Whoa, man, it's like I'm a ghost, man. Ooh. Whoa, man, it's like I'm a ghost, man. Oh, I am the ghost of Frank Paris. Come to remind you that you always try to frighten me. But you can still do it. And every election from now on. <laughs> every election for the rest of your life. Right in Frank Paris is a protest vote. Tell the world what you think of the choices given to you in this so-called and you gotta ride in Frank Barish, yeah, oh yeah.